Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. There's plenty of video editing software available for Windows, ranging from free options to premium tools. Each offers unique features to enhance your videos, but ultimately, the ideal choice depends on personal preferences. In this video, I will recommend the two best video editing software options for Windows PCs, considering factors like your specific needs and skill level. Let's go! Many of you already know CapCut as the user-friendly mobile video editor perfect for quick social media edits. But did you know there's also a CapCut desktop version that is available at capcut.com slash tools slash desktop dash video dash editor? This cross-platform feature lets you enjoy the same ease of use on a larger screen. CapCut Desktop goes beyond basic social media edits, offering a range of tools like speed control for slow motion or fast-forward effects, smooth transitions to enhance flow, and a variety of filters and effects to elevate your visuals. What really stands out is the variety of templates you can use and personalize. These pre-designed options let you create professional-looking videos in a flash. Perfect for those who want a polished final product without spending hours editing. If you need something more powerful for professional-level video editing projects, another software you can try is Blender a completely free and open-source suite available for download at blender.org slash download. While initially designed for 3D animation, modeling, and sculpting, as evident in the default layout, Blender also has video editing function you can unlock. Just click the plus button on the workspace toolbar and select video editing options, respectively. With easy access to your computer's files through the left upper panel, drag and drop videos into the sequencer window for editing. The Add menu offers a lot of features like scene creation, masking, effects, transitions, and more. However, due to Blender's extensive capabilities beyond video editing, it does have a steeper learning curve. Be prepared to spend some time learning the interface, but the payoff can be significant for complex projects. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or other problems with your Apple device, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.